Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Marco Ibanez. I'm a boudoir photographer based in Washington DC and today I'm gonna be talking to you about something a lot of people have asked me before and it is, it is how do I shoot dark and moody? Okay, or my approach to shooting dark and moody. And by the way, this is not meant to be the, you know, the only way or the best way to do it, it's just how I like to do it. I have identified three main elements of my approach on shooting this way and this uh, the first one is facial expression and posing and for me the the main objective of my work is to make people feel something when they look at my photos right to deliver a lot of emotion and for that uh, you're gonna see in my work that I have um, the, uh, the most of the times the subjects with their eyes closed because I think it conveys delivers the the message delivers the the emotions I want to uh, deliver uh, you know the sense of peacefulness the sense of relaxation the sense of the subjects being comfortable in their own skin allowing me to capture those intimate moments almost like a fly on the wall almost like a journalistic approach to to boudoir um, and the same thing with the, the posing uh, I think body language is so important uh, for us photographers as we cannot use you know words or sound or uh, smell or music or any of these things that will enhance maybe the communication but because we can't we have to use whatever you know we have available in this case for me is you know facial expression and body language uh, sometimes I, I like to um, to have the subjects looking at my camera and I do this mm, normally you know 30 or 45 minutes into the shoot when I feel they're more relaxed you know less nervous more uh, comfortable with me with the situation with the shoot and I see this confident look in their eyes and that's when I ask them to look at the camera uh, when they're not scared anymore <laughs> about you know the shoot that we're doing uh, so I think it conveys the the right feeling and that's that's why I do it so uh, that's the first component the second component is the use of light um, and I use light uh, to uh, well we as photographers we work on a two-dimensional plane so I use light to create like a third dimension right to create volume to create texture to um, to create contrast between light and shade right and so because I think that adds a lot of uh, drama to the photo as well and you know it's very it's I think key for shooting dark and moody right one is expression, then it's light. Um, in, in this one, for example, I think this is a very good mixture of you know use of light, which is coming from uh, behind her on the from the lamp there, and it kind of shapes really nicely. You can see the highlights on her legs, and then her stomach and her torso, and the way she's using her hands to create this movement, and also her facial expression and the posing. I think it all blends really um, really nicely comes together really nicely to convey the right feeling um, and also I use one light source only at least I, I try to use one light source only I try to keep things simple so I can focus on the things that are more important for me which is deliver you know great uh, pictures for my clients and to create art right so uh, light I normally use light coming from behind the subject uh, or from the side uh, sometimes I use light coming from my my uh, from behind me but more more often than not I um, I use uh, light uh, I, I, I like to use uh, or I like to shoot back lit right uh, light coming from the back uh, and you know again this is um, another example of contrast there's a lot of light outside it's very sunny outside the window but it's really dark inside and so this is when you know you can create a lot of contrast between light and shade and it's also almost an analogy of life really uh, in life you have you know good and bad you have day and night you have heaven and hell you have yin young so it's I also you know with photography you know it you I try to find a balance between these two you know light and shade and so 
that's what I try to to do. Uh, yeah, and so the other thing is that you know using light coming from behind it, I think in a, it enhances really nicely uh, the woman's natural curves, as you can see here, the highlights on her skin, uh, you know, enhance uh, her curves. A lot of people, yeah, here the light is coming from the side. A lot of people ask me if I dodge and burn, and I I don't at all. I mean, I used to do that when I I will shoot, you know, at the beginning when I was shooting very light and airy, very high key, and I had the light uh, behind me. And so when you do that, the images tend to look um, more flat. And so, of course, you're going to need to do dodge and burn because you want to create more contrast, more, you know, to, to create volume. But in, in this case, I do that on camera, right, with the light available, and I don't need to do Dutch and burn anymore because it's naturally, you know, if you have, you know, the, the light coming the right way, then you are going to create that effect on, 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 on the subject. Uh, sometimes I like to, yeah, uh, backlit, and this is, you know, when I use uh, light um, to generate a lot of contrast. And you can see that this image is almost, you know, uh, high key. But I love how the light kind of hugs her body, right? It's like it's uh, going around her body. You can see that on her waist, on her hips, all the way down to uh, from uh, all the way down her legs to her feet, and it just look beautiful. Um, so the third component is editing, and for that I'm gonna go to Lightroom to show you how I edit my photos um, really quick. Let me do that okay so here I have developed these uh, presets over the last few years that have helped me uh, go through that editing process a lot faster before as I mentioned I was mentioning I, I will shoot very high key and the problem with that is that you you will see all the skin imperfections and then you spend a lot of time trying to fix those but shooting dark and moody allows you to kind of conceal better uh, those imperfections so it's more forgiving in that way so you spend less time uh, fixing those so um, when I edit the photos now I just do a couple of clicks and basically I'm done right so let me show you here uh, for example I'm gonna use this one uh, I like to use in my photos a lot of warmer tones uh, because I think they look cool uh, but that is up to you is what I like I'm gonna increase the exposure a little bit here and this is basically done the, the only thing I would change now here is I am gonna modify this because it's, I think it's too bright and the reason I'm doing this is because the eye the eyes tend to go to the the brightest portion of the photo and this case is is here and this is what I want you to look uh, so that's why I just you know lower the exposure here so your eyes go here and um, this photo is ready for me right so let me show you here the before and after and you know how much time I spend on this photo I don't know 20 seconds so that's pretty good right um, let me show you another one here this is um, I, lately, I'm liking a lot the black and whites and also the grain in my photos. Um, so let me show you here. Uh, for example, here I add this this filter here and that's almost ready. I'm just going to again do this because this is too bright. And then I'm just going to lower that maybe that's too much there. I don't know. Yeah, so let me show you. What, there are a couple of things that I like about grain. The first one is this, that by adding grain, I get rid of a lot of the imperfections on the skin. As you can see here, you know, this is the original original photo, and there are some skin imperfections here that I would like to fix. They're not too bad, but I would like to fix them. And here, you don't see much, so you uh, kind of smooth, uh, it makes the skin uh, smoother right and I like that you know because it it allows you to save time right and I like the way it looks too so um, that's pretty cool and I'm gonna show you in a moment another example of how I use grain but 
um, let me show you here another one of my presets. I'm liking a lot lately uh, these images with less color, almost black and white, but not really. And this is one of the presets I'm using lately. Um, here also, you know, this area is too bright, so I'm just gonna going to decrease the highlights and maybe increase the exposure a little bit. Yeah, and that's that. And yeah, this is done too. It's, it's ready to go. I haven't done anything else. Uh, and you know, I like how it looks. It looks pretty cool, very modern, I think. Um, okay, this one is one I shot at night using uh, table lamps or available light at the hotel. And I have developed these presets, especially for shooting at night. I'm gonna use this one just to, uh, and maybe I'm gonna increase the exposure a little and does that. And you can see the before and after. Very easy, very fast. It depends on, you know, sometimes um, uh, the, the color temperature um, varies depending on, you know, what kind of bulb. Sometimes it's more yellow. Uh, you know, in, in the bathrooms, ten, the light tends to be more white. So I have different presets for different light situations. Um, the same thing here. Oh, this is the second uh, the second reason why I like to use grain. So let me just go to um, to this preset here and <clears throat> you're gonna see here that I'm gonna increase the exposure a little. And I, I love to use grain and black and white on uh, photos that are out of focus uh, because I think it adds to kind of the, uh, it looks very raw, it looks very, uh, how you say, organic and unrehearsed uh, not stage. You know, it's almost like as if you were passing by and you see her there and you poop, take the photo, right? Is is I, I I like it. It's kind of cool that way. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I I like the way it looks. Anyway, so let me show you just a couple more here. Uh, another preset that I like is well, is this one here? The, yeah. So this one has a lot of green tonality to it, and I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, maybe decrease the exposure here, like I did before. I'm gonna decrease it, and that's that. Great, my dog is barking again because he's hungry. But anyway, so this is uh, how I do it. And you know I love this is ready ready to go. You can see again the the highlights and the shade. You know it's, it looks very nice. And okay. So just let me show you the the last one. Hold on a second. My dog is barking. I'm gonna fix that and I'll be right back. Okay. So dog is happy now. Okay, so let me show you this last one. Um, and again, this is something that um, I'm liking lately, which is the more like less color, almost black and white, but not really, and with some grain. And um, let me just go here and lower the exposure. And sometimes things like this happen when I love how how it looks, how her back looks, but her face is really dark, so I'm just gonna go here and increase the exposure here, and boom. I think that's pretty good. Maybe increase the exposure a little bit, yeah. And that's that. So, yeah, that's how I edit my images mostly. You know, very easy, very fast, you know, 20, 30 seconds. If I have to fix something, like really, you know, I want to liquefy a little or change or fix, any skin imperfections, then I go to Photoshop and then just do that. But normally, I'm gonna say probably 90% of the photos is just edit here in Lightroom. But anyway, so uh, let me go back to my presentation now and you know, finish it. Um, so just just so you know, uh, these presets will be um, in the Do More storefront soon, I hope. And you can also get them in my website. So I'm gonna put a link so you can, if you're interested, you can go there and buy them. Uh, but for the people participating in my workshops in Vegas and in at camp in June, 
I'm gonna give uh, them these presets for for free okay so thank you very much please follow me at Marco Ivanes photo in Instagram and thank you very much for listening and hopefully I will get the chance to see you soon so thank you very much bye bye